<clears throat> Ever since man has been on earth, energy has been the lifeblood of society from the beginning when man <clears throat> imitated nature to create fire which we use all of our combustion uh, energy production including automobiles and airplanes and and uh, <clears throat> you know to to the wheel we knew we saw that logs rolled it was no brainer to make the wheel <clears throat> we saw that birds flew we now have the F-35 the most sophisticated fighter jet in the world man has imitated nature for a long time um, almost everything we have is an imitation of what we find in nature uh, <clears throat> it's been said the perpetual motion could never be never be created because it it violates nature's laws, um, specifically the law of conservation of energy. But um, <clears throat> if you look in nature, the nature of the earth, which is two thirds water on the surface, you do have some a situation where there is a loophole around the conservation of energy law and that is that water evaporates into the sky and then condenses and r comes back down as rain or snow collects at higher elevations in lakes and then it flows downhill in the spring as it melts <clears throat> so what you have is you have water rising and falling and yet the gravity of the earth stays the same the mass never decreases the mass is never used up and yet the system recycles itself over and over and over and um, <clears throat> we actually do now even now collect energy off of that system without any use of mass and that is by turbo or uh, hydroelectric power plants um, <clears throat> in the first diagram this is the design for a very rough design for a, a water fed gravity electrical generator gravity powered electrical generator as you can see there is a water pump that pumps water up a pipe now if the pipe were straight up when, and the water came straight out the top the water would have to come to a complete stop before it fell but as you can see in the diagram the pipe is curved and the water continues at the same velocity that it's going up as it comes out the end of the pipe. The basis for the fact that uh, gravity is somewhat exempt from uh, the law of conservation of energy is that in fact there, there's twice as much energy as we believe that there is we think E equals MC squared actually it's 2 MC squared one part one half is passive but <clears throat> we won't get into that right now um, let's go on to the next diagram the, uh, the way that this device is, is fired up and started it has to be primed at the pump in other words you have to force water in through the pump up to the top get it to come out the top then back down to the turbine generator or a turbine connected to a generator would be just fine once that is done then you have electrical power being generated which can then be used 
reused to fu to con keep the pump running without the prime anymore. You have to prime it first to get it to get it going. Next diagram. Gravity is not subject to the law of conservation of energy. The water is going up the pipe and then coming out the spigot at the top. It falls and hits the generator, the turbine rather, which turns, creating electricity. Next diagram. <clears throat> this is not the scale, but let us assume that the height from the from the the water reservoir is five meters. The, that would be the length of the pipe going up the intake pipe. The pump is pumping water up five meters, and then it falls four meters to the electric generator. Next diagram. <clears throat> once, once the pump has been primed and the line has been primed and it's working, um, once you, once you have accelerated the water in the pipe, and for this experiment we're going to say that I've accelerated it to 9.8 meters per second, which is the uh, same velocity as the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.8 meters per second per second, just for for simplicity's sake. So, what you end up with, according to the f the, the gravitational formula of lifting that is shown here, <clears throat> once you get it started, it re it requires um, that that amount. 196 joules of energy to lift it that far, that high, regardless of the velocity of the water. The velocity has nothing to do with it. It's only the, it's a it's a continuation of the force on the water being the same as the weight of the water, which is or the mass of the water, which is four kilograms, which would be about two gallons. Next diagram. <coughs> The water would come out of the spigot at the top on the as it curves to the right. It would come out at the velocity of 9.8 meters per second, and then fall four meters to the uh, turbine. And by at uh, falling four meters, the velocity will ha will have increased to 13.8 meters per second. And so you would use the kinetic energy equation shown here to show that it would create, uh, it would produce 380 joules of energy at the generator. Next diagram. So what you have is, you have that it takes 196 joules of energy to lift the water, but by the acceleration of gravity, as the water falls back to the generator, you end up with 380 joules of energy, which means that you can send your 196 back to the pump to recycle, to keep it going, and have an excess energy, as shown on the right side, to use for whatever you want, something like uh, a hydroelectric power plant. Um, <clears throat> the efficiency is uh, as shown 380 joules divided by 196 joules equals 1.93 so you've got about almost uh, about 93 percent you have 193 percent efficiency is what you have so <laughs> um, <coughs> If you send back 196 joules to the pump, you have nearly that much excess that you can utilize. <coughs> and it just uh, continues to go on and on and on. Um, so this exists naturally in nature, and this is just an imitation of what nature created, creates itself. And um, 
no, it's no different than imitating a bird. Um, it's been right in front of our eyes the whole time. I want to show three clips, short clips of testing these principles with with uh, water on an electric fan with the electricity turned off, of course. <laughs> and after that, I'll comment. Okay, I've got a hose. <coughs> I've got a fan over here. It's turned upside down. I'm going to tip this up in the air like this. Uh, let it hit them fan blades. The fan blades. See how fast it gets going. Oops, I missed. Now from the same height, I'm going to tip the water angle downwards, as you can see. And it picks up speed because of the free fall. I'll go back to an upward angle. Not nearly as fast. If I tip it downwards, same amount of hose. Adding the velocity of the water inside the hose to the velocity of the free fall. There you have it. So that would be your turbine. You'd hook that to a generator and make electricity at the other end. Okay, we're gonna try getting directly above. So we can get it going here. Let me see how high up this is. Now if I go up here and I tip it, you're adding the velocity of the free fall to the velocity of the water. Same amount of hose. There you go. Tip it up. Tip it down, same amount of hose. The velocity of the free fall is added to the velocity of the water. Okay, in the first clip, the height above the fan was about six feet. Up in the second clip, it was about two. You can see the difference in speed because of the height. Um, Two foot was the slowest, six foot was a little faster. Now I'm going to get up on a chair. Whoa. And I've got it up about ten, about eight feet in the air, ten feet in the air. As I get down closer, I'm going to let the, bring the hose down closer, slowing down. And I'll get back up higher again. You can see the kinetic force of the water picks up the higher it gets the faster it goes. As you can see, the uh, water behaved in a way which does indeed violate, well not violate, but loophole around the law of conservation of energy. Today is the 20th of April. 
or at least I'm going to publish this on the 20th of April 2011 which is the anniversary of the Columbine massacre it's also the anniversary of the G <coughs> the BP oil spill last year in 2010 spring has sprung here my tree is in full bloom if we could only imitate that nature, huh? In our souls, wouldn't that be good? Use this technology 